Startups represent the next generation of partners for Microsoft. That's why we're pleased to sponsor tonight's Microsoft BizSpark Profile. Hello and welcome to Startup Spotlight, a weekly glimpse at some of Silicon Valley's hottest new companies. Tonight we are fortunate to have with us Hubert Tiblo. He's the CEO of Curse. Hubert, thank you for being with us. My pleasure. Tell us what your company, Curse, does. So Curse is all about helping gamers succeed in this very complex virtual world. So we provide them the right tools and information they need when they play the game. All right. And how many users does Curse have? Right now we have about 6 million unique users and we're doing about 200 million page views a month. How do the tools available at Curse enable gamers to have a better experience? So we offer different types of services. The, f the first one is this platform of distribution of all the small applications that you install and when you play you can use them. So think kind of like the App Store for uh, the iPhone mm -hmm. where you can download all these small applications also. Um, and how many different tools are available? We have about uh, 10,000 different applications. Okay. And we have more than 3,000 active developers. What other games besides World of Warcraft um, do you offer tools for? Uh, we have Warhammer Online also, uh, Age of Conan, Ion, and Diablo 3. How do you develop these tools? So applications, we don't do them. It's actually the community doing them. Ah. So we are just a distribution platform. But when it comes to the website, the forums, the database of all the quests, all the, all the weapons, all the monsters, uh, you are going to be, we are providing this service. How is your company making money? So we have two revenue channels. The first one is obviously advertising, and this is the reason why we move into the U.S. in the first place, because we have 45% of our traffic in the U.S., so we had to have our sales team here. So advertising is the first one, and the second one is premium revenues. We have a subscription where you can subscribe monthly or yearly and uh, you are getting additional features on the site. I see. Gaming to me, a person who's not really a gamer, seems like an industry that changes and evolves constantly. How do you stay current and relevant um, given that that's the industry that you're involved mm -hmm. in? So that's true. Uh, when we look at four years ago, what we were doing at this time were, would be completely nearly useless now. Right. And uh, I think uh, it's really important to play all the games to know what's going on. And I think uh, we've been able to gather a group of employees that really gets it. They all play MMOs. They mm -hmm. all have... In and an MMO is, for people who don't know? It's a massively multiplayer online game. Okay. And so all these people, have, all, my, all my employees have very high industry uh, experience. And so... These are gamers that are providing a service yes, for other gamers. For gamers. They know exactly what they want and need. Exactly. And what are the plans for Curse in the future? Our two big, biggest projects are uh, the client. Uh, this client is basically helping you uh, organizing all your files for, for your games. So we have 1.2 million people act using it actively right now. So we're still developing this. And we also have uh, a big social networking in the work. Can you tell us a little bit more about how BizSpark has been able to help your business grow? So right now we're using a bit more than 25 servers and BizSpark is providing all of this for free. Also, Microsoft has been, we've been able to reach out to Microsoft very easily and talk directly to the developers to solve problems we had with scalability. Well, thank you so much for speaking with us tonight and good luck with your company. Thank you very much. We've been speaking with Hubert Tiblo. He's the CEO of Curse, and we hope to see you next time on Startup Spotlight. I'm Sumi Das. Thanks for watching. Entrepreneurs play a vital role in driving innovation and creating the kinds of new jobs that are essential to sustainable economic growth. Microsoft has been committed to helping startups succeed from day one. Startups need solid technology platforms, technical support, and visibility to develop and grow their businesses. At Microsoft, we offer a wide variety of programs and tools across a broad range of technologies and markets to help developers do just that. Because the more we see innovation, new partners, and new software companies coming into the market, the healthier the software economy is as a whole. If you're in a startup or planning a startup, let us know. We'll set you up with the tools and the support you need, and we'll help promote your success, too.